Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of The Planet Crafter where we are now uh, almost up to amphibians we've cruised straight past the fish stage and we haven't touched a single thing to do with fish uh, now if we watched the last episode nothing has changed in here from what I showed you but I didn't show you the bio tab we had unlocked a few things in this section um, so we've un unlocked the T5 heater, we haven't built any, we've unlocked the insect spreader rocket, the T5 drill, we haven't built any of these, we've unlocked a couple of fish eggs, we haven't touched fish, we've unlocked the aquarium too, we haven't even built the T1, and we have unlocked butterflies, we haven't built any butterfly farms. And there's the T2 mutagen. So we've unlocked the T3. We haven't yet unlocked the T2. But uh, everything else is the same. So that's where we're up to here. Um, still haven't launched any other rockets. I was going to do five of the seed spreaders to bring us up to, uh, up to even. But I didn't get around to that. We are going to send off one of these rockets information rockets today and that'll be our drone movement or uh where is it anyway we'll, we'll go to the launch pad we'll have a look and that'll show us our drones on the map here this is where we are this is our new base um in the lake so we are going to head on over there and if you're new around here you're wondering why this is all empty uh, this was this was our main base, and uh, we built a new one over there, big mega factory factory that uh, is all automated. Um, still needs a couple of improvements, uh, but basically all that's left in here is my screens and uh, a bit of food. But um, there's our uh, biomass screen if you're interested. Now, um, okay, so we're going to pop out here. I'm probably going to end up moving uh, this launch pad as well. But we're going to pop up here. And we are going to build this one, the drone's visualization rocket. And it does look a bit different to most of the other rockets that we've done. But uh, we'll send that off. And we're only sending the one, so there shouldn't be any funky business. Uh, it'll just go straight up. Nothing exciting to see there, really. So let's go back down here and uh, have a look at our map screen now. And now we see all our drones moving around. And it seems that mainly looks like they're going up to the uh, Super Alloy Cave. And our uranium mines is where the, most of the traffic is going. But, uh, okay. Um, now, we did see this before. But uh, I'll just let you read that one. Let you pause for a minute or two to read that one because this one is to do with the uh, trade rockets we uh, got this message a little while ago and we unlocked the uh, trade rockets a little while ago but uh, we haven't built them yet and that's what we're going to do today so it's not very far but i'm going to teleport there anyway to our factory over here to save a little bit of time uh not much different since the two are here i may have put in one or two more of these um i will keep sequencing some uh, silkworms because i want to up those up that silk production a bit because we're sending fabric in our in our trade rockets so we'll get that going and this is set to supply so once that's finished sequencing 
that'll get taken over into here and I do have enough there to build one of these so I'll do that when uh, while we're waiting for our trade rockets to come back so we're going to go up here now just quickly before we do anything in under here uh, we don't see anything before building the, the trade rocket so we're going to plonk one down and I'm just going to plonk it there like that for now that's not where I not how I'm going to have it but I just want to uh, demonstrate something so these this comes all inclusive the rocket and the platform which is all reusable so once you've built it you've built it you've got the rocket you've got the platform um now these foundation grids which I'm not usually a fan of uh, they will snap directly onto that with no problem um, so if you're a fan of the foundation grids then that's something for you however these ladders here or the, the stairs these do not snap onto more stairs so the best you can do is try to eyeball it and uh yeah that doesn't work out too well for me so not a fan of that but uh anyway uh now that we had built our uh trade platform even though we've taken it down we now have this under here it's tt terror tokens we've got a hundred that we picked up in a chest uh, a couple of episodes ago um but that won't appear there until you've actually built at least one trade rocket i'm just gonna get these out of the way so do impede when you're trying to build Alrighty, so i'm gonna place this down again and i'm gonna place it kind of like so that the back end is down the bottom of the hill and the stairs are buried in the hill and I won't have any problems there. I'm going to build a second one right next to it and that should uh, snap into place. It's going to be a little titchy get it in there. I may need to do it from this angle. And it doesn't want to go. Alright, is it you getting in the way? Let's try that again. Alright, it does not want to go there. So uh, try this again, shall we? All right, let's try and get a second one next to it. There we go. Okay. So, uh, these have a little desk on them, and the other one does too. Click on here. These are all things that we can buy with our terror tokens. Uh, we can't afford a great deal. These ones here are... Um, they are blueprint chips that we can decode. It's no point buying more than one of each of these. They're a once-off and once you've bought it, uh, it won't be in the list anymore. But you can accidentally like buy multiple and you don't want to do that because it is a once one and done type of thing and uh, over here these, these are the things that you can sell so the circuit boards and the pulsar quartz are the most expensive uh, we're going to be doing pulsar quartz and we're going to be doing fabric um, doing fabric mainly because uh, it doesn't uh, take any resources that uh, it's all resources that are produced for nothing in the factory doesn't uh, require 
anything out in the world to be mined and brought back to the factory to produce them. So they're not worth much. Eight terror tokens compared to the 25. But it is something. So the way this works, we click on the rocket. You can manually load stuff in there. Um, we have our drone, so we're just going to set a demand on here for fabric. And then we can click that for enabled. And once that fills up, um, which there it goes, all the drones are filling that up. It just takes off automatically. And then if we click over here, it tells us our tokens available. We don't have that trading menu anymore. Um, and it tells us how long until this rocket gets back to us. So over here, we are going to put demand on pulsar quartz and do the same thing. And we do already have a stock. Um, so uh, they should uh, come and fill those up. There, that one goes. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I'm going to pop up here for a sec. What have we got in here? Nothing. I don't want all these commons. I've got two... Uh, Got two lockers full. Um, where am I? We want the uncommon one. All right, let's pop downstairs and grab a couple of iron. All right. Now you can place stuff on this platform directly on it so i am going to put a storage locker and can fit it behind the desk well actually you know what i'll just uh pop it there Pop another one there, that'll do. Don't really need to label them, I guess they're on a trade platform, it makes sense that they're for trade. Uh, we are going to demand pulsar quartz into that one. We are going to demand our fabric into that one. And our drones will start filling these up. while we're waiting for these guys to get back so there is a little bit of time uh, to wait so we will pop over into the warehouse here uh, we will grab ourselves a zeolite uh, we'll pop up to the bio warehouse grab the water and an oxygen. Uh, we'll head back to production. Um, yeah, this lava should be done by now. So we'll grab ourselves a, another muted, another uh, bacteria sample and a fertilizer. Pop that in there. Keep these going. Does sound like we have an event happening outside. Is it anything special? Uh, just looks like a dust storm to me. Okay. Um, alrighty. Now yeah, we want three of these. And let me see. Push that in there, I think. There we go. Set that to supply silk. And, ah, get 
to turn this off. So this was auto producing drones and supplying drones. So we've got to go check. May have overdone it a bit. Let's go have a look in our drone station. Okay, so all these drones that are hanging around up top, the reason for that is because this is full. This only holds 25 and it's on demand. So when you've got this on demand and you've got auto crafters crafting them, as soon as uh, one of these guys flies out to go do something, the spot will be filled up with a fresh one. And then when they've got nothing left to do, they'll all come back and none of these guys can fit in there because uh, because the spaces are all occupied. So we have ooh, 102 drones. Oops. Oh, well. Um, it only fits 25. So we have four times as many drones as what can actually fit in there. They still work. Um, they just have nowhere to rest and they'll just... Uh, pile up there so uh let's have a look let's grab a quick drink down here let's uh have a look at our station here okay still a few minutes to go um all right i'm going to grab a silicon and an iron and we don't have any silicon it's because it's all been being used up by the uh, drone production put any in here nope okay then all right well Uh, there'll probably be some under here actually because it didn't really spend a lot of time down here we moved pretty much straight away at the start of the game so I guess I'll pick up a couple of bits if I can find them I really only need one but, uh, just to help restock the base tiny bit until the uh, ore extractors catch up and get ourselves out of there alrighty so back up here uh, just put the excess in there purple sky okay looks like it's just a weather event and not uh, not a meteor event um, but what we're going to do I am going to pop down this screen here pop it on the desk here and when we buy those blueprints, we grab them off the rocket, we can unlock them straight away from here. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've still got about a minute and a half for these rockets to come back. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat and I will see you back in a moment. Okay, so our rocket's almost back and... Uh, once that timer gets down to, to zero, we'll get a notification that we've received terror tokens. So that should be any moment now. Yep. All right. Now uh, I'm going to set this one to supply. Now that it's full. And same with this one. Set that to supply. Alrighty, and we should see this guy coming back. Here he is, so I'm going to pop back down. Now, the cloth did not 
the fabric did not give us a great deal of cash. But uh, these guys will just keep coming back and forth. Uh, the zeolite gave us, sorry, not zeolite, pulse of quartz gave us a lot more cash. And that one should be coming back down pretty soon too. There he is. These guys are already filled up and taking off. So I'll send, put this one back to demand. And the drones have come fill that guy up pretty quick too. And it does put a little drone icon on the ones that are earmarked. So, uh, yep, he's taken off. Okay, so we will set this back to demand so it fills up while they're away. And, yep, got a bit of time to spare again. So, um, yeah, still need a few more trips yet. So, I'm going to keep on uh, sequencing some of these uh, lava and putting in more uh, more of these silk generators. But uh, I will do that off camera while we're waiting for these rockets to get back and I will see you again in just a moment. Okay, so rockets have done a few trips but um, they're still going until we get uh, 5k. Uh, but we are about to pass into amphibians. And there it goes. And the next stage is mammals, which are not in the game yet. Now we pass through the whole... There's our mutagen T4. We pass the whole fish, fish stage without building a single fish. Um, but uh, let's get back. Okay. So uh, we have unlocked T4 mutagen, we still haven't unlocked the T2. Uh, we've still got a couple of trips to go till we get 5,000 tokens and then we'll buy the, uh, the updated storage locker. So we're just going to let this run. Uh, I've got this on demand, this on demand, so these guys are still a little way out, so let's just have a quick look over here, keep an eye on this pond because there will be some frogs in there at some stage, but uh, Gonna wait for these rockets to do another couple of trips and I'll be back to you in just a moment. Okay, so uh, we've just come over the, the 5,000 mark. It's taken a few trips. Uh, we haven't been lucky enough to have any meteors yet. There are meteors that drop crates with lots of tokens in them. Uh, but when this guy lands, we are gonna grab him and we're going to disable the auto takeoff and that is going to let us have time to do some purchasing uh, so I think we are going to go with the T2 locker storage first and that'll take a five grand okay and has filled up so We'll, uh, yeah, I think if it's already full, it doesn't auto-launch, so you can launch it manually, and we'll need to wait for that one to get back to us with the chip in it, so uh, we'll wait for that, and I'll see you again in just a moment. Okay, so our rocket with the chip is about to come back pretty soon and uh, we'll get the notification that it's held the pulsar quartz yep 
There it is. And you can see it coming down. We want to grab him because it's got the auto the the auto takeoff enabled. So we want to grab our chip before he manages to uh, to get filled up and take off. Okay, actually it gets disabled by the looks of it. So we'll take that. We'll enable that again and bring this over to our screen and see it does actually tell you what the chip is so we are going to decode it and we have the storage t2 locker which uh is down here takes two super alloy and a circuit board so we'll check check these out Let's uh, grab enough for two. Alrighty. Um, okay. So I'm going to plonk one down temporarily over here. And I'm just going to call that temp. We are going to set that to... Uh, Demand iron, and we're going to set this to supply. Whack that right up to five. Okay, so they emptied that out real quick into there, and look how much space there is in that. So, alrighty, we will uh, deconstruct that and we'll pop in another one here okay so it's a bit narrower but it sticks out a bit further all right so this is going to be our new iron storage so we will pop that in there we will now demand iron and we will now supply and they've emptied all that out put it into there okay so we will now demand titanium And supply titanium and we're waiting on one drone to come and take that last piece take it out myself but I don't know if it mucks up the drone let's just take it and put it in ourselves Okay, so now we can uh, deconstruct that one. Grab ourselves another uh, couple of super alloy. And another circuit board. Now we can squish them right up. Okay. And we'll put that onto demand for titanium. And supply titanium. Okay. So uh, that is the T2 storage locker. That is a pretty huge amount of space compared to that. Um, and that's an easy way to uh, replace your lockers there. That is how trading works. And uh, we've got a few more blueprints to uh, 
a few more blueprints to buy. But uh, that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.